What's going on guys, Phil here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube, and today we're bringing you the entire Archon lineup. So for those of you that don't know, a uh, year ago, year and a half ago maybe, we created our own wheel company, we called it Archon Off-Road, which is why you've probably heard about it before, but if you haven't, I guess I'm kind of here today to show you all of the wheels in the lineup now. Since they've been out for a while, they keep releasing new wheels, they, we, you know, it's the same company basically, but just ran by different people, but still some of the same people, super confusing. Just trust me when I say they're pretty cool wheels and doing a lot of cool stuff. So uh, to kick things off, we're gonna start with the Lincoln, which is behind me here in the big 26 by 14 chrome. So the Archon Lincoln was the first uh, wheel that Archon came out with, and it made some big moves in the wheel industry because it's uh, true directional, or as Archon calls it, proper directional, which means you've got a left side and a right side so that when you put them on your truck, you can either have them all digging or all swooping, to kind of depending on your personal preference. Uh, but you don't have any wheels that are facing backwards, which is something that we find very important in the wheel world. Also, uh, Archon really listens to people, so you'll see that on the Lincoln. You've got no rivets on the rim of the wheel. It's just Archon punched in there, really tiny. It's very subtle. Uh, the cap's very clean, as small as possible. On some of the bigger eight lugs and uh, whatnot, you do see the cap gets a little bit larger, or a little deeper, uh, but still very flat as far as the face goes, and the logo is very minimalistic on there as well. Uh, the Lincoln, as well as all the rest of these, are all gonna have exposed uh, lug nuts as well, or exposed lug holes, so you can run spike lug nuts if you want to, uh, which is something that's really cool. Another big thing with the Lincoln is that there's no lip on the back side of the wheel. What I mean by that is it's finished all the way through, so it doesn't look like the lip ever stops. It just keeps going and going and going. Uh, these things are available anywhere from a 20 by nine on the small side, all the way up to 26 by 14. So uh, lots to work with there as far as size ranges goes. Archon also wants to give you the most stance as possible since they're this big show truck brand, which means like on the 14 wides, instead of seeing a negative 76 that you'd usually see, you're gonna see a negative uh, 81. Uh, and it applies to all of their wheels. They've got the most offset in that size category, I guess you could say. So very thick spoke. Um, but the ends are like milled back, so it almost looks like the spokes don't reach the barrel. It's kind of like, almost like a floating spoke kind of look. Uh, and just very twisted, very directional, big spoke, uh, very simple, very clean, so you can run it on just about anything. I've literally seen this on old school, like Toyota T100s, and I've seen it on brand new uh, three quarter ton trucks too. So it goes with pretty much everything. Next we have the Cleopatra, which is here. So the Cleopatra, like all the other wheels, is gonna have those uh, exposed lug nut holes, as well as a simple cap. It's got no rivets on the rim of the wheel again, just Archon milled in there. Uh, this black and milled one that we have here, obviously you can see, you get the high quality automotive grade paint that you see on most wheels, and then the milling uh, is pretty fine, pretty intricate on there, but it really enhances that twisted design that's going on there, since this also is a proper directional wheel. Uh, but since some of that kind of gets lost in the black, they go ahead and add the milling on there to really bring out those windows. It also helps make the spokes look even thinner uh, when it comes down to the point. You know, it's only two, three millimeters thick at the very edge there. So it looks very thin, but still plenty thick enough to be strong, uh, as strong as you need them to be to, you know, slap these on your truck. We see a lot of people running these in some of the smaller sizes with more of a meteor tire. Uh, I guess people kind of took this one as more so of an off-road style, even though we do have a separate brand, which is called Anthem Off-Road, for the true like off-road designs. These guys are all gonna be show wheels. As far as sizes go though, uh, they do make this, the smallest one's gonna be a 20 by 10, and it goes all the way up to a 24, 14. You'll see that some of the lip kind of gets eaten up on this one. It's not as big of a lip as some of the other wheels on the market, and that's because of the concavity to these spokes. So the spokes actually dive back uh, towards the hub there. So you do get some concave going on. It's kind of a hybrid. The Lincoln is actually like that too. There's a lot of concavity going on with those spokes as well. Then we have the Archon Alexander, which is actually probably my favorite wheel, at, the, at least when they were released. We only had the three styles initially. I really like this one. It's almost like a turbine style wheel, uh, and people have been doing that for years on cars, trucks, everything. But Archon went ahead, obviously these are a cast wheel, it's true directional, the price point is right where you want it to be, all that kind of good stuff. And then the milling that they added almost goes on to that lip of the wheel, so it really like elongates these spokes and can make your you know, 2414 look even bigger than it really is, which is nice. As far as sizes go on this one, they actually, the small size is gonna be a 20 by 12, but you kinda want something that big for this wheel too. In a smaller size, I don't think I would really like it that much. So 20 by 12, all up to 24, 14 uh, for that one. Then to kinda change gears a little bit, Archon released 
uh, an entire line, well, it wasn't really an entire line at the time because it was only one wheel, but a new line called the Crown Series. So this is the Archon Crown Series Victory. The reason why it's its own line is because this is a multi-piece wheel. Now, not in the sense of you can take it apart and have your back half, your front half, a face, bolt it up, change your offsets, all that stuff, but it's multi-piece in the sense that that chrome ring that you see on this one, you can actually pull that off, paint it whatever color you want. If you want to color match it to your truck uh, and slap it back on there and not have to worry about uh, like taping things off. So if you wanted to paint this face, you could also paint the face of the wheel use the ring as like where your tape line would be, put it back on there and it looks very clean. That's super easy to do. If you wanted to do it at home with Plasti Dip, I mean, I guess you could. I'm not saying you should, but you definitely could. Uh, again, same kind of thing. Exposed lug holes, you got a really clean center cap. The Crown Series is a bit different in the fact that it doesn't say Archon Off-Road. It's just the big K. It's also multi-piece cap, so you can pop that apart and paint it whatever colors you want also. Um, being that this is like the ultimate show wheel, this is gonna be made in all your bigger sizes. So we're gonna see, uh, like this one here is a 2614. And the smallest size they make is a 22 by 12. The next wheel to come out in the Crown Series lineup was the Triumph, which is here. Uh, this wheel, a lot more, I almost think it has like a military kind of looking face where this could be something, probably not you know this extravagant with all the milling, but this looks like the center of a wheel that belongs on a tank or something like that. So a lot of smaller windows on here, a lot more material, very, very, very flat face, no concavity to it. You got as big of lip as possible, still retains the removable rings. So if you wanna do some cool uh, color match stuff or paint it whatever color that you want, you can definitely do that, uh, which is nice since a lot of companies, a lot of wheel manufacturers aren't offering crazy colored wheels simply because there's not enough demand for it. So if you want purple wheels, if you're the guy on Instagram that DMs me and say, hey, what do you got for purple wheels? You could just buy these and you could paint them yourself uh, and not have to worry about you know paying buku dollars to get super custom one-off you know Ford's wheels to get them in the exact color you want. Buy something like this, definitely uh, easy enough to do at home. This is the only Crown Series wheel. There's only two of them, I guess it's not that big of a deal, but the only one that they do make down to 20 by 10 uh, because like I was kind of saying, this more militaristic, off-road kind of styled spoke uh, face that you got going on, you can get it in 20 by 10, you can put like 37s on it, 40s on it, and it would actually look like a pretty decent uh, off-road wheel as well. Last in front of me, but not last on the list, we have the Archon Roosevelt. This one, I think people got kind of mad about uh, when we first released it because this is not true directional. Unlike every other wheel, I guess this Crown Series Triumph isn't directional either, uh, but this one doesn't have any sort of twisting going on, it doesn't have any lip, uh, because the spokes come all the way to the edge. Now, there is a lip between there, I'll give you that. But in my book, this is a concave wheel, fully concave. Uh, you'll see that the spokes come all the way to the edge, they really dive back. There is a ton of concavity there, so if that's the style you're looking for, uh, then you're good to go with these guys. They also make this in as small as a 20 by 10 and all the way up to 24 14. I think this looks best. Obviously, the bigger you go, that 24 14, the spokes really narrow out as they get towards the edge. You kind of lose some of the extra material that's in the middle here that kind of makes this a little chunkier looking uh, as you go up in size. So next on the list then is actually so new that I don't have it in front of me here, but we just put a set on Bailey's truck. It's the Archon Caesar. So this wheel kind of takes the best of both worlds from the Lincoln uh, and this bad mamma jamma over here and brings them together. So it looks very similar to the Lincoln, but there's a lot more spokes. They're a lot thinner and the directional pattern that it's got going on, I think is even more twisted than this one. So it really emphasizes that directional look. I think it looks a lot like some of the Ford's wheels uh, that you see out there just because the spokes do uh, get so thin. It looks really, really sharp on Bailey's truck. He's got King coilovers, an eight inch King coilover kit uh, with these wheels on there. And it like, you know, King's is such a heavy off-road name. And then you got Archon, which is such a heavy show name, but you put the two together and it just works. I think this is probably gonna be one of Archon's uh, better selling wheels for the upcoming year. I don't know if it'll replace the Lincoln. Some people are saying it will, some people say it won't, uh, but I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Otherwise, if you wanna check these things out, we got the link to the entire Archon lineup down in the description below. So you can click on that. I think that about covers it. Peace.